A few weeks ago, we discussed the purging of Christianity in Europe by way of mass Islamic migration. Today, we'll examine how that migration is merely a symptom of the cancerous policies of the deep state. I'm Robin Kinderman, and you're watching JBS Straight Talk. Regardless of what you may see in the news about refugees from the Middle East being displaced by ISIS or dictators, make no mistake about it, this refugee crisis has the fingerprints of the deep state all over it. In the New American Special Report, Deep State in Action, Alex Newman provides insight about this mass migration in his article, Globalists Created the Refugee Crisis. He wrote, The establishment promoting mass migration into the Western world is trying to pull on people's heartstrings, even posing as humanitarians. In reality, though, they caused the crisis. They did it using war and intervention in the very nations people are fleeing from. Newman points out that a staggering 5 million refugees had already made their way into Europe by the end of 2016, according to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. But this refugee crisis is not contained to only Europe, and it did not start within the last couple of years. After the signing of the Refugee Act of 1980, our nation has seen a staggering influx of immigrants and refugees, and by following the globalist playbook, it's guaranteed to escalate even further. This places a massive strain on the American people's pocketbooks. As Newman wrote in his article, it cost taxpayers more than $250,000 to resettle a refugee household in America, or about $65,000 a person, over five years, according to analysis of government data by the Center for Immigration Studies. Europe's financial resources are also being drained by accommodating refugees. However, the simple fact is that they would not be facing this present crisis had it not been for the joint European and U.S. military interventionism in the Middle East, in the name of war on terror and spreading democracy. Former Congressman Ron Paul explains this in a 2015 column. The reason so many are fleeing places such as Syria, Libya, Afghanistan, and Iraq is that U.S. and European interventionist foreign policy has left these countries destabilized with no hopes of economic recovery. This mass migration from the Middle East and beyond is a direct result of the neocon foreign policy of regime change, invasion, and pushing democracy at the barrel of a gun. And Newman concludes, The mushrooming refugee crisis would appear to be yet another perfect illustration of the establishment's problem-reaction-solution scam. In essence, the same figures who created a crisis exploit it and offer their solutions, almost always involving more government. If we as Americans don't want to face the same issues that Europe is facing, we need to expose the deep state. Their plot is not only causing human suffering, but it's using these refugees as a tool to create additional government dependency, not to mention the influence this has on future voting patterns, too. Do your part and distribute copies of the Deep State Special Reports within your community to help raise awareness and aid in your JBS recruiting efforts. It's because of these efforts that the JBS has stopped many globalist initiatives over the years, stalling its overall agenda by about 75 years. Links are in the video description. So until next time, take care and God bless.